Hiya, and thank you for joining me here today for this review of the film Booksmart. Now, I recently went to see three films in one day just to really churn through some things I want to see at the box office. And this was the second film I watched of the day and it's by far and away the best. So if this has escaped you or if it's something that you haven't um, heard much about, then I would thoroughly recommend you get down to the cinema to see this film. Now, Booksmart is the story of two girls who are graduating from high school, getting ready to go off to university. They've been best friends forever. They're kind of hard studying, really focused work, work, work type girls. And, and to summarize the plot very, very quickly, they it's on the last day of school and they discover that having put all this effort into uh, everything they want to do and having got in into the colleges that they really, really wanted to, all the people who they thought of as slackers and who they thought of as being lazy and not dedicated, they also got into the colleges they wanted to. So essentially, they have achieved nothing more with their hard work and effort than everyone else, but they've missed out on all the fun. And they decide to cram two years worth of fun into this one last night of school before graduation the next day by trying to get to this big party. So it's your typical sort of um, teen American comedy, high school comedy type thing, um, in the vein of a super bad, but led by uh, two girls in the lead roles. Now, I won't talk much about the actors in the film. Um, you know, I know some of the people who play fathers and mothers in the film, for example, you know, Lisa Kudrow's in it. But this whole cast is largely unknown to me, especially the younger, younger characters in the film. These are people who I've never really come across before. Now, I know the film was directed by Olivia Wilde and she finds a role for her husband, Jason Stakers, in the film, which is very nice. And I think this is a great sort of um, first introduction into this kind of genre for her. I'm not aware of her having directed stuff before, but I'll certainly check them out if she directs again, because I thought this was really, really smart and funny. What I like most about this film is that it is, it's basically not trying to be clever for the sake of it. It shows a very organic relationship between these two friends, a relationship that you can buy into and you can believe. You understand why they get on with each other. You understand the motivations and why they, you know, perhaps haven't um, integrated as well with their classmates, why they maybe don't know so much about them, and yet how they're trying to have this kind of fun underneath kind of, you know, this one big blowout night is really very interesting how they try and achieve that in this film. And it's smartly written, very funny, very clever. There were some massive laugh out, laugh out loud moments in the cinema for me. And I was in the cinema with um, four women and myself. I didn't know them, obviously, I went to see it on my own. But you know, we had to, I was laughing out loud. It was, it was fantastically funny and has some really, really great, clever, witty moments. The supporting cast is also excellent. The classmates around them, what I like most about this is that you get, you know, you get annoying characters, you get um, standoffish characters, you get your kind of slackers, your jock type characters, etc. But in a really refreshing way, something that I would normally associate with these kind of films, you really don't get those kind of just out and out um, a-hole characters. What you get are, you know, you get these teenagers. They, yeah, they don't get on. Yeah, they've, they've maybe looked down on each other or they have not connected over the last few years. But you don't get this kind of manipulative, evil, sort of mean girls type characters who are, you know, seeking to undermine everyone in a way that is heightened for film. These are much more real characters. You understand why they don't relate to each other, understand why they haven't connected but it's not like they're trying to sabotage and destroy each other in a way that is usually done in these kind of films for comic effect or just for um, for drama purposes. The drama here comes from genuine relationships between people which are interesting and and fun and you know deep in terms of how they relate to each other and that's that's really the the best thing I can say about it. Um, the supporting cast is really really good. Um, as I said, you've got these kind of young up and coming stars. This feels like a film where in three or four or five years time, we'll kind of look back on this and we'll say, oh yeah, that's where these people came from. This was one of their big first films where they came to people's notice because I'd expect at least three or four of these young characters to go on to do really good and interesting things in the future because they're really, really good actors. They're doing a great job in this film and they're dealing with the material that's given to them in a very, very 
competent way, especially for comedy. Um, and I, I, I really like this. I think this is this is um, a thoroughly enjoyable, heartwarming, fun, little bit formulaic. You know, you know the beats it's going to hit. It's going to hit certain beats because you're going to have those moments of slight misunderstanding because it's a little bit of a form of these types of film. But it does it in a way that is, you know, it, it's... It feels comforting, it feels warming as you, you come to these moments. They're sort of reassuring things that, yeah, I know the kind of film I'm in, but some of the, um, the aspects of this film are really quite, um, quite organic, the way they're dealt with. So as an example, for example, one of the two lead characters is a lesbian, she's gay, but it's never made a big deal of, it just is there, it's just a thing. It's something about her. It's not, um, you know, we don't get gay jokes. We don't get lesbian jokes. We don't get, well, actually, that's not fair. We do get them. But we get them in a funny, engaging, best friends, you know, ribbing on each other kind of way. But, you know, we don't get sort of um, the trope type jokes, you know, the, the, the lesbian trope jokes. We don't get picking on people because they're lesbian, any of that kind of stuff. She just happens to be gay. It's woven into the story and, and you know, it's just like any other teenager. And, and I like that aspect of it. It's, um, it's got a sort of little bit of progression in it, but in a way that feels natural, that feels the way things should be when people are just who they want to be. And, and that's cool. Her parents are Christian and, you know, they're kind of dealing with things, but Again, they're sort of, they're like good loving parents who are dealing with something that was a little bit unexpected from their child. It's not heightened drama, it's just fun and, and again, a nice representation of, of the way people should, um, you would hope, react when your family, some of the most important people in your life, turn out to be a little bit different to what you intended or perhaps what you thought you would get. And that's perfectly fine. So overall, I'm going to give this film a very, very, very good 9 out of 10. I really, really like this film. I can't wait to see it again. I've recommended it to my wife and um, hopefully she's going to go see it tomorrow night because we've managed to find a cinema near us that's still showing it. I think it'll be gone from cinemas by Friday. So I'm, you know, I'm, I'm really hopeful she gets a chance to see and she enjoys it as well. And it's a film that I will be looking for and keeping an eye out for when it comes out on streaming because I'm going to want to watch it again. I'm going to really enjoy those moments those fun sort of comedic moments with this young, interesting and dynamic cast. So, have you seen the film? What do you think about it? Please let me know in the conversation down below. Obviously, this is a less well-known than other films that are coming out in the last couple of weeks. You can get me through my email address, which is julietisnoir at gmail.com or through the website julietnoir.uk. Feel free to like, share and subscribe. Click the little bell so you're notified of upcoming videos. Look forward to talking to you all again soon. Thanks as ever and bye. Bye.